All right, welcome back. Now, in this particular tutorial, we're going to consider more test pre-processing concepts that we need to understand before we move on to do uh, more robust hands-on projects, okay? So um, previously, we've gotten to understand um, certain concepts, and then we've also gone to the lab session to see how um, these concepts are being demonstrated. We're going to do the same thing uh, in this session and going forward, okay? So we're going to talk about another important concept here, which is referred to as normalization, okay? So normalization is one of the uh, concepts that you need to understand when it comes to test processing, all right? So um, let's get to understand what a normalization is, all right? Mostly you're going to hear something like test normalization, okay? Right, it's just the same thing, whether just normalization or test normalization, it's just the same thing, all right? So in linguistics and in NLP, we have what is called morpheme, okay? Which is defined as the base form of a word, okay? The base form of a word is referred to as morpheme, okay? This um, keyword or this um, word is mainly um, seen in linguistics, okay? But we borrow that word to um, NLP, right? So this is also natural language processing, form of a linguistic, okay? Now, we previously we have learned token, right? Which we said that token is the individual words, okay? So for instance, a sentence like, um, sentence like say, chopping off the end of words, okay? If we want to, find the tokens of this then it's going to be chopping off the end of and then words okay that's what it's going to be like all right so we, that's what we've um, learned so far and that's the whole meaning of token all right now a token is basically made up of two components okay it's made it's made up of two components one is the morphemes okay and the other is the inflectional form like prefix or suffix okay so we can have a word like, say, anti-nationalist. Okay, anti-nationalist is consisting of um, the anti part, the national part, and then the highest part. Okay, so, but I mean, we we consider the entire thing as a token. Okay, we consider the entire thing as a token. Right? But most of the tokens are mainly consisting of um, prefix and suffix. Okay, prefix and suffix. And for instance, if we take the word like chopping, okay, this is mainly coming from the word chop, okay, and then we have suffix over here, which is ing over there, p i n g over there, okay, so mainly that's that's what it is, right? For instance, if we pick um, words, right, it's mainly coming from word, okay, and then we have s at the end, which is the suffix, all right, so the national, the national here, so we have the prefix, then we have the suffix, okay, prefix, and then the suffix. And then the national is what is referred to as the morpheme, okay? The national is the morpheme. That is the main or the base word, okay? That's the base form of the word. So anti-nationalist is coming from national, okay? So national is the base word, all right? So normalization here is the process of converting a token into its base word or base form, okay? Converting it to its base form. So for instance, we have anti-nationalist here we want to convert anti-nationalist to national okay so the process of converting that anti-nationalist to national is what is referred to as normalization so as you can see here in the normalization process right the inflectional part that is the suff the prefix and the surface part is removed right so that the base form can be obtained okay we remove the prefix and then the suffix part so that we can have the base form Right, so as I said, for example, the anti-nationalist, right? We remove the anti and then the east, okay? The, I mean, the list at the end, right? And then, I mean, the east at the end, and then we end up having national, all right? And then the same thing, we have words like, say, school, right? Which is starting with capital S. And then we have another word like school, which is all in lowercase. We have another word like schools, which is ending with S, right? They all coming from school. Okay, so if you perform normalization on that, then the end word will be school. Okay, we convert all of these things to school. All right. All we are trying to do is to remove the redundancy of the words because school, school, schools, they are all coming from school. All right. It's just redundancy of the same information. All right. So as I said, we are trying to remove the redundant information from our, um, our data. All right. And uh, we have two main ways of um, doing normalization. We have what is called stemming, and then we have what is called lemmatization. Okay, so these two are the main techniques that we use in 
um, performing normalization. Okay, we have stemming, then we have lemmatization. All right, so let me get rid of this thing so that we talk about stemming and lemmatization.